So I gave away $750 million last week or thereabouts. So if you guys have been following this drama, you guys know that I've been working on emotional intelligence for AI. So in this picture, I'm at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base with one of the most powerful civilians on the planet at the Air Force Research Headquarters, just hundreds of feet above the biggest secrets in the world. I was there discussing the algorithms that we developed and how they might help the military, U.S. Space Command specifically, defend the nation and the planet from space. And the meetings went very well. Here's the catch. U.S. intelligence agencies just couldn't keep their noses out of the deal, which basically allows LLMs to read human minds. It's the ability for AI to understand what's going on in the minds of the human users it's interacting with and the minds of the human users that it's not interacting with as well. And a certain three-letter agency couldn't keep their fingers out of the pie. It looked like they were trying to steal it. It looked like they were trying to bury it. So I just open sourced the whole thing and gave it all away to the world. You now have the capability of taking what we put out and giving LLMs Turing test passing emotional responses to real world events. You can also build an emotional mind reading system and an emotional manipulation system, which is just reversing the math and saying, what would make this person angry? What would make this person sad? What would make this person fearful? And this has huge implications in the world of intelligence because now you can start to automate psyops planning and execution. Now, why would we build that type of a system? Because AI was already on the race to solve it anyway. We proved that the data is already in the system and we smoked a bunch of Alan Turing Institute benchmarks to prove that we were right. But one of the things that comes out of this is artificial empathy and artificial compassion from an AI system. Because artificial compassion is and always will be the only solution for safe AI. It takes into consideration the calculations of all of the emotional states of all of the individuals on the planet because it can do individual analysis and could just kind of build that up into a Harry Seldon psychohistory from Asimov's The Foundation which kind of predicts an entire population's actions. Not kidding, not science fiction anymore because although these algorithms save us from a runaway artificial general intelligence or artificial super intelligence. So before they get pulled down, go get them. Give us a star while you're there. The link's you know where.